Yo, what is up? So I thought I'd make a video on how to actually use FSR4 on NVIDIA or Intel. So it is slightly different for Intel. It's just when you're installing uh, OptiScaler, you would click one instead of two for NVIDIA. So it's pretty easy. So what you do, you just paste all the OptiScaler files into the folder. So I'm going to do it on Stellarblade because, uh, I mean, a lot of people will just want to use dual SS port since they're on NVIDIA and Intel XESS. But I've had a lot of people asking me to use FSR4. So I don't know why, but I have actually, I can understand it because um, there is certain games like Stellar Blade where I prefer the image quality of uh, FSR4 if, you, if you're if you literally comparing the hair quality. So what you would do, this DOL you download, I'll put the link in. So it's like the RDNA3, but you just paste it over the file. So you install OptiScaler, then you just paste this file over the file that OptiScaler puts in. So as I've said before, it's very important to put the one file in, the DOL you download, last. Because if you do it first, the OptiScaler file will literally overwrite it, and then it literally won't work. So you need to do that after you've installed OptiScaler and then it will work and it gives you FSR 4.0.2, the latest version. And as I've said, I find that to be on this game and a few other games, I just prefer the FSR 4 image quality. So it's, so the same for Intel, I believe. Make sure DLSS is selected. And also when you install OptiScaler for Intel users, make sure you end it with one so you get the option of DLSS to use in the menu. How you would do it, you'd make sure DLSS is selected. I did try uh, FSR upscaling in the menu. I didn't record it, but it didn't work how it should. So you, you don't do that. You want to make sure it's DLSS inputs. For some reason, the image quality was pretty bad on that. But going over DLSS, is the best way but you would see there I mean there is a massive uh, <laughs> performance hit so I'm not totally sure why but oh, it's obviously uh, it's been designed for RDNA 4 I know NVIDIA actually do use FP8 so I've been reading up a lot about that but so do AMD with uh, RDNA 4 they use FP8 as well so but for some reason, I mean, it's different architecture. So it is like knocking 30 FPS off on NVIDIA. But the image quality is definitely, it looks the same actually as the RDNA 4 version on this game. And it pretty much looks the same as well on RDNA 3. So it definitely, it gives you the best hair quality, in my opinion, what you can get on this game. So if we go, this is now DLSS 4. And... I'll zoom in because uh, there is a difference with hair quality and I've I've done a video on this but you'll see that it breaks up more on DLSS. So as you can see, so zooming in, there is a lot more pixelation uh, when the hair is moving. So you can definitely see it. Uh, it's just a lot more pixelated in motion, it breaks up more. Whereas FSR4, even on the balance mode, so I'm going to literally show that uh, the balance mode is actually better than dual SS4 quality when you're looking at the hair, 100%. And I've actually found FSR4 balanced to be so close to uh, actually FSR4 quality. So this is another thing I mentioned on a few other games. So I, I think I would actually recommend if you want to use FSR4 on NVIDIA, uh, maybe Intel, it's the same hit. I'm not, I literally don't know. Uh, I imagine it is. I mean, but I haven't got an Intel GPU to test it. But, but yeah, uh, I mean, considering this uh, literally a 30 FPS hit. And I'll be honest, I'm not really caring too much what I'm using between FSR 4 quality and balance because it is so damn close. Uh, although quality is uh, slightly better. Uh, I mean, you, even when you zoom in, in is uh, is hardly there is hardly any pixelation at all. It's very difficult to break the hair up at all, even if I'm zooming in with SR4, even on the balance mode. And then on plan normally is even better. I mean, it's perfect 
when you're not zooming in. So, I mean, the other thing is you could try performance as well. I didn't actually try it in this game, but that looks great. Yeah, from what I've seen. So it is weird that Dill SS4 it just isn't looking as good. <laughs> Even FSR4 is looking better in its early stages, better than Dill SS4 in games like this for hair quality, and then there's some other games. So it's very weird. Very, very weird. But as soon as I read up on Arduino 4 it's like they're doing everything for gamers. And you can see it with uh, the 97 XT when I'm looking at benchmarks and I'm feeling the performance first hand. So yeah, it's good. So yeah, it's literally four times faster than an A3. It's got everything you need. It's considered a powerhouse for the future. For all the FSR 4 upscaling, redstone and all that. So it's going to work great. Anything AI related with AI workloads is going to be really great. The Arden A4, we're literally set up for it. And uh, obviously NVIDIA, they've got their own AI, but I don't know if it's for the benefit of the gamers. I mean, Arden A4 looks like it's really shaping up for gamers from what I've read on it. And uh, I mean, even Intel doing better. So I don't know if... Uh, Nvidia just sort of took their eye off the ball, you know, took their foot off the gas because they think they're just sort of untouchable at the top. And now, literally, AMD, I mean, FSR 4 is literally just, it's even winning in certain games. So it's amazing to me that since it's like brand new tech, basically, it's immature. So, yeah, that is brilliant. I just think AMD are putting the work in and maybe. To be fair, maybe Sony is pushing AMD as well. And this is the result. You're getting great image quality at 1440p. Uh, as I said, I've noticed it to be better in quite a few games. Uh, 1440p, FSR 4. And DLSS 4, just, it, I know it looks great at 4K. Uh, but 1440p, definitely there's some issues in some games, I would say. Anyway, that's it for me. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.